It is cold. It's cold. I'm just warming up. Same. Just warming up. I haven't, I haven't vlogged for a while. See what I did there? Warming up. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Durham. Uh, how is your autumn treating you? Or how's your spring if you're in the southern hemisphere? It is cold for us and it is getting dark. It is currently about 3 p.m. and it is very dark. But anyway, we are in Durham today. Uh, kind of a bit of an odd occasion. We're working with the London Tourism Board. They've sent us up here um, just to experience a little bit of Lumiere, which is a light festival. Hopefully we can get some photos, but then tomorrow we're also going to do some street photography and uh, just explore Durham because we've never been here before, never seen it, don't know what to see, don't know what we'll find, and uh, yeah, all in preparation because Lumiere is coming to London in January. That's why we're here. Right, let's get some food. It's been about five hours on the train and um, it was a long ride on the floor. see the screen but I got a light on hopefully you can see my face alright yeah so we're essentially just kind of like wandering around Durham and uh, in the very center they've set up all sorts of light installations it's a bit like a light festival really and it's been running for the past couple of days and it's making its way to London in January so we're sort of just scouting out a few of the uh, installations uh, and hopefully we'll capture it in London um, properly so this one we're sort of going to be putting together some images for the blog post mainly um, and then tomorrow we're going to explore the streets and see a little bit of Durham in the daylight um, because seeing it from images seems really quite beautiful so um, yeah, I want to see some of the oldie worldy buildings and all sorts and uh, get a little taster for Lumiere tonight. Oh my god it is cold. Yeah, we're just wandering between places and uh, getting a few shots. Now, you may be thinking nighttime photography with the lights. Of course, you're going to be doing long exposures and all sorts, but this is really not the setup for that. <laughs> there are too many people about. So, we're essentially whacking up the ISO pretty high. Um, Ellie's shooting on the Fujifilm. Uh, she's on the X100F. Um, I've been on my 7D. Bit tricky getting photos. Um, I'm generally trying to focus on just doing a bit of video because. Um, yeah, just want to do some photos tomorrow, really. <laughs> you just point on the map to say where we are. <laughs> Any words with that? <laughs> you just keep <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna retire for the night. It's cold. Hello. Oh, good morning, Durham. It is grey and foggy out, and I am definitely foggy this morning. Don't know why, but last night wasn't even a late night. But man, am I tired! Woo. <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna head in, get some breakfast. Maybe go and find some shots in some areas that we were walking around last night. By the way, I've been uh, playing around with the autofocus settings on this GH5 and uh, I've set the speed to plus one and the sensitivity to minus three. So hopefully that improves the quality of the autofocus because I know before it's been a bit crap. Um, so we'll see how it does. It generally before was having the background in focus and not my face. And um, so just bear with me on that. It's going to take a few videos just to get right. And uh, hopefully we'll get there in the end. <laughs> Good morning. So we're going to go and explore some of these streets and uh, I don't think I'm going to shoot with my cannon today. I'm just feeling some little Fuji vibes. Um, just trying to get some shots of this one particular street and uh, everyone kept getting in the way. We eventually got it empty. The water's had a nice little wet down as well. <laughs> There's always like a wheelie bin in the way. <laughs> Dickhead. 
So it's obviously been raining this morning and uh, it's just like before a film is being made and they do like a wet down where the road is kind of like all just glistening. Um, it's kind of like optimal conditions uh, to make everything just look that extra little bit shiny and glossy. Um, yeah, if you didn't know that, that's what they do before filming stuff. If you ever see a film set, you'll probably see a hose somewhere and uh, they just wet everything down before they start a rolling. Hose. A hose. Yeah, just a single garden hose for Hollywood. <laughs> I love it when you find a good shot, like down an alleyway or something, and then you go down the alleyway and you look back and it's even better from the other side. Sometimes you just have to explore both ways and uh, you'll find what you're looking for. So we just come <laughs> through the cathedral, massive sign saying no photos and stuff, so um, yeah, can't really get pictures, but also there were um, a lot of workmen taking down everything from Lumiere last night, so not really missing out too much if I'm honest. Um, but also, this area that we're just walking through now, this is where we were last night with the, um, like the bands, yeah, the, the neon. neon bands coming through. This is where I switched on the light. And I must say, Durham last night was so dark. I don't know if it's normally really dark or if they just turned off the lights for Lumiere um, so that all the other lights stand out, but it was incredibly dark. You think it was really dark last night? <laughs> <laughs> and now this morning is really bright. That made you sound really stupid. It was really dark, now it's really bright. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, honestly, last night it was so dark, like it was really hard to see if anything we were filming or taking pictures of was in focus or anything. So Taking photos blind. <laughs> I've got no idea, but hopefully if they did come out good, they'll be on the blog, of course. And also, you would have seen on our Instagram stories, um, we were doing quite a bit, which came out quite cool. Ooh, I've just seen a shot ahead. Hold on. It's still kind of raining and uh, it's glowing really quite nice behind and just like glistening in the sunshine. I keep getting water on my lens so if it's kind of going a bit blurry that's why. It's kind of coming up to I guess like lunchtime and uh, or maybe it's just past lunchtime actually and Durham's got quite a big university and there's a lot of students about and it's as if Everyone's coming in waves of like when their class is finished. So where I'm trying to get a shot of an empty street, just as someone passes in front of the camera, someone else just comes around the corner. So I'm um, spending a lot of time just waiting around trying to get those empty shots, but it's always worth it when you do wait eventually. Uh, we now come down to the riverside and uh, we're gonna walk along and we need to make our way back to the train station to get a train back to London before it's uh, too late. Cause I think it takes about five or six hours to get home from here. Which is Quite a long time really on the on a packed train on a Monday morning. Monday evening. No <laughs> my hooter! <laughs> this is how Joe Allen throws his nose. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we kinda come full circle now, we're heading back to our hotel and then train station. What do you reckon of Durham? Durham. Durham. <laughs> <laughs> First time here. Very cute. Good is. Very Good, good place to go to uni. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah. I personally couldn't see myself living here, but I think it would be a pretty cool city to come and go to uni, or if you want to send your kids to go to uni here, maybe. <laughs> it does sound so old. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed seeing like some of the older streets, cobbled streets. Definitely good that had a wash down this morning. Um, and there's obviously a lot of development happening as well, but mainly, we were here to kind of scout out a bit of Lumiere, so thanks for London for sending us up here. It's not a paid sponsorship or anything, but they did provide us transport and accommodation, so that's pretty cool. We'll uh, explore Lumiere when it comes to London in January, um, and also make sure you go and check out the blog for these photos on here. Um, I know sometimes the photos do kind of come out, like, they just look like standard snapshots or something, but honestly, when you check them out on the blog, um, it really shows more of like a collection and a bit of a story. Um, and that's kind of the style we go for. We like to curate images together. Um, and Ellie writes the post for those. So go check that out. We'll catch you in the next one when we're in London. See you later. Bye bye. We just got two minutes before the train comes and I just run up to, uh, I think it's called Wharton Park. Uh, and this is the battery. I think it's an old gun battery, I guess. Um, 
overlooking across Durham. The lighting is looking amazing, but we've got to be quick because of the trains coming in. And uh, I just got some shots over there. Uh, there's the viaduct, which is what the, the train line goes over, and uh, we'll be taking that in just a minute. But I thought it was quite a cool viewpoint of Durham, and uh, glad I got time to get it. Now, I've got to run down to the train. Ellie's down there with the bags, and uh, yeah, we'll make it in time. We're good. We're good. All right, see you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta.